Andrew Kanak of Butler High School. Head football coach Jason Luciani says that Andrew is a shining example of dedication in both academics and athletics. Andrew's 4.1 GPA coupled with his membership in the National Honor Society speaks volumes about his commitment to academic achievement. On the field, he had 11 carries for 82 yards and a touchdown, along with seven tackles and an interception on defense. Andrew's best contribution to our team came as a supportive teammate and contributor on special teams, displaying a total commitment to team success. Andrew has tremendous character, and he has exhibited unwavering integrity and sportsmanship throughout his career. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Kanak of Butler High School. Jacob Bitar of Chatham High School. Athletic Director Darren D'Alconzo shares that Jacob is the epitome of a student athlete. He has a 4.059 cumulative GPA and a 1440 on his SATs. He's been on the honor roll every year and is a member of the National World Language Honor Society. And he's had just as much success on the football field as he's had in the classroom. He led their team in rushing yards with 918 and he scored 11 touchdowns. An excellent leader and a fierce competitor, Jacob was selected second team all-conference. As good of a student athlete as Jacob is, he's an even better person and will be missed by the Chatham football program. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Bitar of Chatham High School. Christian Zabrowski of Del Barton. Brian Bowers, head football coach, proclaims that Christian leaves a very special legacy for the Green Wave football program. With a team first mentality, Christian's leadership and all out effort were on full display every time he stepped on the field. Christian earned the starting quarterback position as a senior and led their team to a Super Football Conference Division Championship, a non-public A state final, and a number two ranking in the state of New Jersey. Equipped with an accurate arm, the athleticism to make plays with his feet, and a calmness that allowed him to make great decisions with the ball, Christian was the biggest reason for our offensive success this past season. Christian's performance in the classroom has been equally impressive. His curiosity, thoughtfulness, and friendly nature have made a very positive impact on our entire Del Barton community. Christian has been a role model for what we hope our young men will achieve within our football program. We wish Christian all the best in his very bright future ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian Zabrowski of Del Barton. Gio Galacio of Hackett Sound High School. When asked about Gio, coach Mike Eric Kellyan states that Gio is an excellent young man who represents all the positive qualities of a high school football player. Gio is both a leader on the field and in the classroom and is well respected by his coaches, teammates, teachers, and peers. His constant drive to be the best version of himself is an outstanding example for the younger players in our program and made him an invaluable leader on our team. As a player, Gio is tough, smart, reliable, and plays with great effort. Gio's determination to overcome adversity was outstanding this year, and he's extremely deserving of being honored as a scholar-athlete. Ladies and gentlemen, Gio Galacio of Hackettstown High School. Cade Martris of High Point High School. Head football coach William H. Percy Jr. said that Cade is a talented athlete with an extremely positive attitude. He has proved himself to be 100% dedicated to his team and has committed himself to promoting teamwork both on and off the field. His organizational skills with regard to team activities has been exemplary, as well as his enthusiasm regarding team development. Kate is a great team leader and is an asset to our team. His knowledge of the game and skill combined with his spirited attitude makes him one of the team's top players. For the past three years, Cade served as a tight end on offense and outside linebacker on defense. He was selected by co coaches as one of our co-captains and is also named first team defense all Super Football Conference in the white division and proudly earned a spot on the all academic team for 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, Cade Martris of High Point. Lahith Kaneru of Jefferson. Head football coach, James Matsakis says that Lahith has been an integral part of the Falcon family for the past four years, including helping Jefferson to a sectional title during his sophomore season. His commitment to the program both on and off the field was second to none. Lahith stepped into a starting two-way player this past season and was able to garner conference recognition by demonstrating a football prowess that was noticed by opposing coaches. He attacked academics with the same vigor as he did on the gridiron or the basketball court. 
He is not only the top academic football player, but he's also ranked in the top 20% of his entire class. Lahith is a young man that represents not only Falcon football, but also the entire Jefferson Township community with a great deal of pride and commitment. He plans on attending Texas A&M and majoring in the exercise science. Ladies and gentlemen, Lahith Kaneru of Jefferson. Vincent Lex Lucas of Kinelon. Dustin Grand, head coach at Kinelon, boasts that Vincent Lex Lucas is a leader on the field and in the community. Lex was a captain of the Kinelon football team and led by example always, giving maximum effort. As a junior, Lex received first team all division in all Morris County honors as a running back. After receiving those accolades, Lex trained even harder during the offseason while pushing his teammates along the way. In the first game of the season, Lex had rushed for over 100 yards and two touchdowns when in the third quarter he broke his leg and was forced to miss the remainder of his senior football season. Lex remained a leader to his teammates during this difficult time and expects to make a full recovery for his senior season of lacrosse. Lex is also a leader in our community, helping set up our Veterans Day event in Kittalon to honor local veterans and serving our community. And also setting up the community breakfast with his teammates to the local veterans in the community. Ladies and gentlemen, Vincent Lex Lucas of Kittalon. Cole Davis of Kittatinny High School. When asked about Cole Davis, head coach Joe Cotelli proclaims Joe is one of the most selfless players he's ever coached throughout his career. He was an incredible captain for our team and a natural leader on and off the field. He had a huge impact defensively for our team and was our leading tackler. He's truly the epitome of a scholar athlete, demonstrating not only his dedication to football, but also his academics. I have no doubt with the work ethic Cole demonstrates that he will have a bright future. Cole plans to play football next season at Stevenson University. Ladies and gentlemen, Cole Davis of Kittatinny High School. Jet Laurie of Lenape Valley. Wade Pickett, Lenape Valley head coach, writes about Jet. I've witnessed Jet function under some extreme conditions. He has demonstrated repeatedly that his positive attitude is superior when it comes to his peers. He has truly developed from a boy to a young man who is a leader in every sense of the word. Jet's genuine character, tenacity, and never say die attitude are what you get from him in every aspect of life. This young man is hardworking, goal oriented, and earnest. Jet and I have had several conversations in his four years on the field, and it has been a pleasure to watch him develop into a fine young man. Jet is eager to succeed and possesses the leadership qualities necessary to obtain said success. I am confident that he will continue to strive to learn and do well and ultimately become a productive member of our society. Ladies and gentlemen, Jet Laurie of Lenape Valley. Hendricks Farrell of Madison High School. Nancy Willis boasts that Hendricks Farrell is a three-year letter winner playing defensive back for the Madison Dodgers, in addition to being a member of the wrestling and golf teams. Hendricks combined intelligence and toughness to earn his spot on the field. He was the leading tackler in the secondary and fourth leading tackler on the defense. Hendricks was not only a solid performer on the field, but also respected and accomplished member in the school community as well. Hendricks was a member of the National Honor Society, the World Language Honor Society, and Yearbook Committee. He was an AP scholar with distinction and a commended student in the National Merit Scholarship Program. Hendricks was student government and class council president and earned the NJ State Seal of Biliteracy and National Spanish Exam Silver Medal Level 3. Hendricks earned the Academic Achievement Award, which is given to the senior football player having the highest grade point average over his past four years with a 4.78. He is energetic, hardworking, and positive young man who is the epitome of what we expect of a student athlete. Ladies and gentlemen, Hendricks Farrell of Madison High School. Robert Raimondo from Mendham High School. Head coach Ethan Giro says that Robert exemplifies the term leader. He knows no other way, and whether it be on the field or off, he naturally leads others to be better. As a player, Robert is extremely undersized for the positions that he plays, but you would not know that by the ferocity at which he plays the positions. As a junior, he was sixth in the state in total tackles with 114, playing inside linebacker against players double his weight. Unfortunately, this last year, he was only able to play in seven games, but still accounted for 61 total tackles during that time. 
Aside from the recognition he got last year and being a captain this past season, the character he displays as a person is purely of championship credo. The ability to positively influence others is a rare character trait that he possesses and flaunts with ease. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Raimondo from Mendham High School. Matt Martino of Montville. Rick DeBonta, head coach at Montville, shares that Matt is a three-time first-team Liberty Blue Division kicker and the 2023 Morris County Coaches Association Special Teams Player of the Year. Matt has done a superb job being consistent on the field and gave Montville a big advantage in the kicking game. His love for the sport and focus on his craft was awesome to watch develop, but his leadership as captain did not stop on the field. He has volunteered for several charities, including Education Rocks, The Hazel Project, and volunteered as a coach for youth football camp. He was awarded a Science Excellence Award and played baritone horn in the band. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Martino from Montville. Alex Lorber of Morris Catholic. When asked about Alex, John Hack, head coach and athletic director at Morris Catholic, shared that Alex embodies what it means to be a Morris Catholic football player. He lived by our core values of faith, toughness, hard work, and discipline. He encountered much adversity during his journey and overcame it with a smile on his face and with great dignity. Alex was always a team first guy and his servant leadership as a captain helped keep our team together during a very difficult season. Hopefully Morris Catholic's younger players took notice of Alex's leadership, positive energy, and character. Not only did Alex excel on the field, he was in the National Honor Society French Club, awarded the Theology Excellence Award, and a Pax Christi Award winner. A big congratulations to Alex. And ladies and gentlemen, here is Alex Lorber of Morris Catholic. Michael Knack of Morris Knowles. Patrick Brunner stated that Mike is a player every coach dreams of coaching. He is a leader by example and earns the respect of all of his teammates and coaches on a daily basis. He takes nothing for granted and goes about each day in a business-like fashion. He led our team as a quarterback and exhibited leadership, toughness, and determination in that role. He's a multi-sport athlete who plays basketball and runs in track and field. In our building, he is an outstanding student and role model for all to look up to, not to mention a National Honor Society member, Spanish Science and Math Honor Society member, and a high honor roll student. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Knack of Morris Knowles. Braden Van Zyl of Morristown. Casey Flynn, head coach at Morristown, writes that Braden has been a leader and integral part of the culture shift for the football team at Morristown. His ability to hold himself and others to a high standard is what has made his teammates elect him to our leadership board and team captain. Braden is only the second Morristown player to be a four-year varsity letter winner and named second team Super Football Conference Liberty White for defense. Braden's academic success is driven by his passion in pursuing business in college. He is a member of the Future Business Leaders of America and is consistently on the honor roll. Braden extends his influence in the community by volunteering his time with the Hillside Hose Fire Company in their annual Christmas tree sale, as well as developing skills in the youth as a swim instructor and action camp counselor. Ladies and gentlemen, Braden Van Zyl of Morristown. Michael Leibowitz from Morristown Beard. Taz J. Valentine boasts that Micah is exceptionally passionate and driven by a profound desire to ensure the well-being of those around him. A person of unwavering faith, Micah stands as a testament to the qualities of a resilient and dedicated high school student striving for success. Micah shines as a prime example of a student athlete consistently exhibiting outstanding character while embodying MBS's core principles, standards, and ideals. Micah's dedication to success is evident in his remarkable athletic achievements, including all-conference first-team defense and all Morris County team in 2022, not to mention the substantial effort he invests to ensure academic excellence. Beyond personal accomplishments, Micah actively encourages his teammates, radiating an uplifting spirit and maintaining a positive attitude despite setbacks. His presence has become an invaluable asset to our community. Congratulations, Micah, on this well-deserved recognition. Your unwavering commitment to excellence and exemplary leadership proven on the field as a captain profoundly inspires us all. Ladies and gentlemen, Micah Leibowitz from Morristown Beard. Aiden Lynch of Mount Olive. 
Head coach Brian O'Connor says that Aiden is what I would consider the epitome of what it means to be a student athlete. He was a leader both on and off the field and an excellent role model for our younger players to follow. Aiden was named first team all conference, all county group four, all state and Morris County offensive lineman of the year. He was a devastating blocker on the offensive line and a tremendous athlete, which is why he received over 25 offers to play football next year and has accepted a full scholarship to attend and play for Virginia Tech. Aiden played a huge role in the success that we had this past fall winning the Group 4 sectional championship, not just as a great player, but a tremendous leader as well. But more importantly than his academic ability was his leadership, work ethic, and integrity. Aiden was included in the National Honor Society and constantly on the honor roll. It was an honor to coach and mentor Aiden. A big congratulations on your accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, Aiden Lynch of Mount Olive. Cosmo Fusco of Mountain Lakes. When asked about Cosmo, Daryl Fusco, head coach at Mountain Lakes High School, states that Cosmo was a true leader both on and off the field for Mountain Lakes. He was a physical blocker on the offensive line, a playmaker on the D-line, and a dominant presence in every single game that he played. During his three years at Mountain Lakes, he helped lead his senior class to an 11-2 playoff record, three sectional finals, two North championships, two group finals, and the first ever Morris County Group State Championship this past fall. As good as Cosmo was on the field, he sets an even better example in the classroom, being on the honor roll every marking period of his high school career. He has a 4.3 GPA, is a member of the National Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, and is an AP scholar. He is a peer leader, member of the chess team and cricket club, and a three-sport student athlete. Cosmo is one of the most well-respected students in Mountain Lakes High School. He is a gentleman, a dedicated worker, and has been an example for all of our players to follow in the Mountain Lakes High School football program. Cosmo will play football at UPenn next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Cosmo Fusco from Mountain Lakes. Dylan Cotter of Newton High School. Matt Parzero, head football coach for Newton, proclaims that Dylan Cotter has excelled academically with a 4.8 non-weighted GPA and as a member of the National Honor Society. Athletically, Dylan was an all-conference selection in football and swimming. Dylan has excelled especially through community service. He spearheaded a toy drive which has been responsible for distributing over 500 toys to pediatric patients. He assisted with the Pride Foundation and is inclusive of all students. Dylan was the recipient of the prestigious Jason Garrett Starfish Charity Scholarship. He was also a finalist for the Super Football Conference Steve DiGregorio Young Man of the Year Award. He also found time to assist with the Newton Youth Football Program. In every regard, Dylan Cotter is an exceptional football player and young man. He earned the respect of all of his coaches and teammates through his daily preparation, attention to detail, and competitive fire. Dylan always practiced at an elite level and held his teammates to that same standard. We wish Dylan nothing but the best in his future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Cotter of Newton High School. Luke Stefankiewicz of North Warren. Head coach Eugene Fleury writes that Luke is a scholar athlete with a GPA of 4.0. He participates in football and basketball and takes great pride in his school, community, and his education. Luke is a member of the National Honor Society and the Spanish National Honor Society. Luke is very active in his faith and donates his time with the local youth sports programs, as well as participating in community activities such as Voice of Veterans and local food and clothing drives. This past season, Luke received the Captain's Award in football. What I admire most about Luke is his character. Luke is a true team player, placing his teammates and the goals of the team above his own. For the past four years, I've witnessed his loyalty and commitment to the team, as well as Luke's integrity in terms of making the right choices. Luke is a true leader. I will miss Luke, and no words can truly express my sincere appreciation for his friendship, loyalty, and his humble and respectful demeanor. Luke is a special individual who can make a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, Luke Stefankiewicz of North Warren. Rocco Guglielmo of Parsippany Hills. According to head football coach Dave Albano, Rocco is the type of player that everyone would want on their team. He is the first one on the field and the last one off of it. Rocco works just as hard in the offseason as he would during the year. Not only that, but he is a true leader on and off the gridiron. 
He served as a captain, led his team to an undefeated season, a Liberty Blue Conference Championship, was named first team all division, and was nominated for a Super Football Conference Steve DeGregorius Young Man of the Year Award. He attended Boys State and participated with PLAC Peer Leadership. Along with these accolades, Rocco is a captain for the baseball team, a supervisor and coach for NFL Flag Football League, a Santa's All-Star volunteer which collects and donates gifts for underprivileged children, and a four-year volunteer for the Little League Challenger Games. As Coach Albano likes to say, with a name like Rock, he was born to be a middle linebacker and a fullback. Rocco will be attending Alabama in the fall, and we wish you all the very best and roll tide. Ladies and gentlemen, Rocco Gugliamo from Parsippany Hills. Brandon Gahari from Randolph High School. When asked about Brandon, head coach Will Nahan said Brandon is one of the hardest working, most determined, and completely genuine student athletes I have ever been fortunate enough to coach. His work ethic towards football and training, practice, and games set a standard for the rest of the team. The development of his leadership amongst his peers grew from year to year, and he became someone they looked up to for guidance. Within the high school, Brandon is an exceptional student, taking multiple honors and AP courses, making honor roll each marking period, and earning a 4.0 GPA. Brandon has volunteered countless hours helping coach our youth program between spring clinics, summer camps, and in-season coaching. Brandon is a member of the National Arts Honor Society and will continue his education at the College of New Jersey, majoring in graphic design. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Gahari from Randolph High School. Elijah Kelly of Roxbury High School. Head coach Ryan Rumas states that Elijah exemplifies what it means to be a scholar athlete. From the time that he stepped foot into Roxbury High School, Eli led the way for his fellow teammates and classmates. He understands that school is his top priority and football is a privilege that he was able to take advantage of. Eli also has many academic accomplishments, such as earning honor roll, earning the Renaissance Academic Achievement Award, and earning a spot in the National Honor Society. He also earned accolades on the football field, as he was a team captain and earned honorable mention all-conference this year as a senior. Eli also thrives in our community and has helped our youth football and basketball programs as a coach and led Thanksgiving football drives. He is a tremendous leader, he always does the right thing, his actions define who he is, and he has more positivity and determination than any young man that I have ever met. Ladies and gentlemen, Elijah Kali of Roxbury High School. Sean DeHagara of Sussex County Technical School. Athletic Director Sean Truesdale said that Sean DeHagara has not only excelled in athletics, but also demonstrated academic prowess. A standout offensive tackle and defensive tackle, Sean's dedication to both academics and football is truly commendable. Holding a current GPA of 3.4, he has consistently achieved academic excellence. His leadership qualities on and off the field were recognized when he was appointed captain in his senior year. Additionally, his on-field success earned him a spot on the Super Football Conference's second team for offense. Sean's contributions extended further to the All Sussex Warren area, where he secured a position on the second team for offense, solidifying his status as a key player in the region. Sean's remarkable achievements in both academics and football underscore his well-rounded commitment to excellence, leaving an enduring legacy at Sussex County Technical School. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean DeHagara of Sussex County Technical School. Douglas Staley of Vernon High School. When asked about Doug, Vernon head coach Steve Down proclaims Douglas is the epitome of what we look for in our program. He was named first team all league and second team all Sussex Warren. He had intensity in practice, a kind heart to all those in school, and a passion to lead our program to its highest peak, all doing so while excelling in the classroom. He was included in the National Honor Society, volunteered at the Special Olympics at Mountain Creek, and is a certified lifeguard. Our program culture has changed because we've had players like Douglas leading us for the past three seasons. Douglas hopes to attend either Miami, Duke, or Georgia Tech, and he hopes to study aerospace engineering or economics. Douglas was an offensive lineman who paved the way for two different running backs who set back-to-back -back school records in our program. In five years of knowing Douglas, I am a strong believer that great leaders leave places in a better spot than when they arrived. 
Our football program and school is in a position to succeed and grow because of what Douglas has left behind. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Staley of Vernon High School. Gabriel Oy of Walkill Valley. Head coach Bob Leach writes, I am privileged to support one of my student athletes, Gabriel Oy. Gabriel participated in our football program for the past four years, during which time I witnessed his tremendous growth and development, which came not only in the area of physical achievements and leadership, but in maturity and character as well. He has become the most valuable member of the football team and a role model for his fellow teammates. He has also spread his love and knowledge of sports to the youth by volunteering at the Wallkill Valley Youth Football Camps. Gabriel is a good student keen to learn new ideas and is persistent when success doesn't come instantly. He is a hardworking person, works well with people, and is courteous and dependable. Along with keeping up with his studies and sports duties, Gabriel has shown that he can handle a large workload by also being an active member of our wrestling program. Gabriel was selected as a captain on the wrestling team for the past two seasons, which is a clear sign of how much respect the coaches and teammates have for him. Wallkill will miss Gabriel and his unrivaled dedication to our program. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel Oy of Wallkill Valley. Gavin Drown of West Morris Central. According to Kevin Henley, head coach at West Morris Central, Gavin exemplifies what we at West Morris expect in all of our student athletes. In the classroom, Gavin maintains a 4.49 GPA while taking challenges AP IB level courses. As an athlete, I find Gavin to be a tough, hardworking, coachable player who strives to be the best he can be at all times. Through his hard work and dedication, Gavin was voted senior captain by his teammates and was recognized as the team's most valuable player. Gavin also received all-conference, all-county, all-area, and all-state honors this season. In addition to football, Gavin competes in baseball where he was voted team captain as well. Gavin is also actively involved within the school community, serving as an officer in student government and peer leadership. His efforts expand beyond the classroom and field of play with his endless commitment to community services. Gavin serves as a peer minister at his church and youth counselor within the sports recreation program in Washington Township. Lastly, and most importantly, Gavin is the definition of a true gentleman. He is currently deciding between TCNJ and Salisbury to attend next fall. Ladies and gentlemen, Gavin Drown of West Morris Central. Edgardo Rivera Rosales of Dover High School. Bill Goble, head coach at Dover High School, shared that Eddie is an exemplary person both on and off the field. He was the hardest working member of our team, a four-year starter that we could always depend on, and we knew we could ask him to do anything and he would give it his best. Eddie would grind it out in the trenches all day and still find a way to go out at halftime and perform with the band still in full uniform. Band captain, captain of the football team, first team all conference, captain of the bowling team, it seems that there's nothing that this young man can't do. In the classroom, he is an exceptionally hardworking and dedicated student that outperforms nearly all of his peers. Eddie has achieved the high honor roll every year, as well as being inducted into the National Honor Society. As good of a football player and student as he is, Eddie is an even better person off the field. He would lend a hand to anyone in need and do anything and everything to make the lives of those around him better. Ladies and gentlemen, Edgardo Rivera Rosales of Dover High School. Michael Farrell of Hanover Park. When asked about Michael, head coach Dan Fulton says, from the moment Michael Farrell stepped on campus, we knew that we had a great player and an even better human being. He established himself as a solid teammate and a coachable player. His academic abilities were evident with the way that he carried himself, spoke, and worked on and off of the field. He's the type of player that you only have to say something to once. He was a leader and a friend to every player on the team. Mike has separated himself in the classroom and around the school, earning a 4.4 GPA, being elected the president of both the FBLA and Peer Buddies. He's an active member of the student council and he's been accepted to the National Honor Society. Mike has built an equally impressive resume on the football field, being named All-Conference, a three-year starter as a punter and a two-way starter at outside linebacker and wide receiver tight end during his senior season. 
Mike has deservedly been accepted to many amazing schools, and he's currently deciding between the University of Michigan or Indiana, where he plans to study finance. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Farrell of Hanover Park High School. Jarrett Benke of Parsippany High School. Head coach Jason Herta shared that he had the privilege of coaching Jarrett during his junior and senior years of high school, where he acted as our center in the Parsippany Red Hawks football program. The results were evident that Jarrett was not only excelling on the field, but off of it as well as the season progressed. Jared wanted to play any other position besides center this year, but due to our short numbers, he stepped up and filled the role we needed from him on the offensive side of the ball. On the defensive side, Jared was a strong leader and acted as one of our starting linebackers. These leadership abilities and willingness to put himself out there for his team needs to be commended because he found a role as a leader and a role model to the younger kids by putting himself out there for the team and putting his personal wishes aside for them. I wish Jared the best of luck in his future, and I am thankful for having him reestablish a culture that has been known as the Parsippany Way through his selflessness and willingness to put out for his teammates. Jared is looking to become a full-time firefighter and continue the leadership and excellence that he displayed on the field to help out his community in a selfless way. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Bentke of Parsippany High School. Jackson Post of Morris Hills High School. According to Bruce Campbell, head coach at Morris Hills, Jackson Post has earned a high honor roll and is a recipient of the Morris Hills Excelsior Award. Jackson volunteers his time in our community after practice with the Lifted Up Challenger program for students with special needs. Jackson is a snowboard cross racer and a freestyle snowboard coach when he is not leading in the weight room after school. Jackson was voted team captain and was a two-year varsity player as a linebacker and running back. Coach Campbell will miss Jackson's leadership, sportsmanship, communication, and willingness to make personal sacrifices for the best interests of the team. And a big congratulations to Jackson Post. And ladies and gentlemen, Jackson Post of Morris Hills High School. Michael Horgan of Pequannock High School. Mike Moschella, head coach at Pequannock, proclaims that Michael Horgan exploded onto the scene this year as a key two-way player on their team. After spending the last three years as a support player and role filler, he took the reins and led his team by example. His intelligence, attention to detail, and athleticism allowed him to thrive in our system. Mikey led the team in offensive touches, averaging just over seven yards per attempt and scoring seven touchdowns. Defensively, he led the team in solo tackles. Most importantly, Mikey was a vocal leader who did the right thing all of the time. His efforts earned first team all national blue honors. Mikey carries a 4.0 GPA while taking a challenging academic course load, ranking him in the top 10% of his class. He is a member of the National Honor Society and Spanish National Honor Society, where he serves as a treasurer. He has constantly been on high honor roll, is active in the Interact Club, Chess Club, Operation Smile, and Habitat for Humanity. He volunteers his time towards church altar serving, wreaths across America, empty bowls, Mission Hope, JL Blessing Backpack Assembly, and Grains of Hope. He has also played lacrosse and will be playing tennis for PTHS this spring. We would not have had the success we had this year without Mikey's commitment to the team and his leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Horgan of Pequannock High School. Michael Zerker of Booton High School. When asked about Michael, Boone head coach Brian Gallagher says Michael Zerker represents all of the traits that we coaches seek in our players. He is gritty, tough, selfless, and coachable. His work ethic and discipline are remarkable. His performance on the field was outstanding, earning him first team all-conference, all while maintaining a high GPA in the most difficult of classes. Michael is a young man that runs toward challenges and takes them on face first and at full speed. Michael was inducted into the National Honor Society, participated in Boys State, and was awarded an AP Scholar Certificate and AP Seminar and Research Certificate. He is one of the all-time greats to wear the boot in red and black, and will be moving on to an even greater challenge when he attends the United States Military Academy at West Point next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Zerker of Booton High School. Peter Urado of Whippany Park High School. 
Head coach Luke McGinnis boasts that, as one of our captains this season, Peter was one of the leaders in laying down the new foundation of our culture at Whippany Park Football. Starting last spring, Pete was instantly a young man I knew I can trust and rely on very early on, and I had a feeling he would earn the right to be named captain by his peers. He was the anchor of our offensive line, played center with zero bad snaps, and was one of the most reliable and coachable players that I have ever mentored. He was the guy that had the next play and never give up mentality, and always had the most positive attitude getting ready for an offensive drive. In the trenches, where the battles often won or lost, he was an unwavering force, leading by example. His resilience in the face of adversity and ability to uplift teammates has been the driving force behind our successes. Pete was also our Super Football Conference Man of the Year nominee, representing our program by his high character. He carries a 3.79 unweighted GPA while also being involved in multiple after-school clubs and activities off the field and excelling highly in those organizations. Pete is being pursued by many high academic Division III football programs that he is still deciding between. I am proud to have coached such a fine young man on and off the field. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Urato of Whippany Park High School. Sean Thies from FDU Florham. Anthony Van Curen of FDU Florham said that Sean is an outstanding person, student athlete, and leader. He's a highly motivated individual and gives everything he has to our program. He has been on the All-Mac Honor Roll four times, selected second team All-Mac, and voted to the All-Mac Fall Sportsmanship Team, which recognizes student athletes who exemplify great character and display exceptional sportsmanship both on and off the field, as well as represent their team, institution, and the conference with high integrity and respect. Sean is one of the best. There is no better example of what I want our program to represent. He is always working, whether to be a better student, a better athlete, or a better person. He is fully dedicated to being the best at everything he does, and he elevates everyone around him. I am excited to see what the future holds for Sean, and I know he will be a successful teacher and will inspire his students each and every day. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Thies from FDU Florham.